Good afternoon, YouTube. Okay, Laura and I are loaded up in the family truckster. We're heading down to South Florida, Key Largo, Miami, to meet up with a bunch of friends. We've got Mike Peoples of Skyborne Imagery. He's flying into Miami tonight. He's gonna be drone pilot and primary cameraman. We're collaborating with a lot of friends that have existing channels on YouTube or are starting channels. And we are in the brand new to us, 2005 Honda Odyssey. I think it's the touring edition. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> now, Laura actually bought this van for me for my birthday. And the reason being is for years and years now, we have been talking about buying a minivan and setting it up as a dedicated adventure wagon. Something that is gonna have the fishing rods we use, um, all the gear we use, camping gear, snorkeling gear, constantly packed and ready. So we don't have to go through the two and three day ordeal of packing everything up and then unpacking it when we get home. So we've got this van packed up and when we get done with this adventure, we're just gonna take our personal effects out, clothes, toothbrush, stuff like that. We're gonna leave it sitting in the driveway for our next adventure. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> and we are ready to go, I'll show you what we got. We've got everything. We're going absolutely loaded for friggin' bear. Yep. And some. And some. Laura is so excited. Oh, yeah. She has been unable to contain herself throughout the entire day. Yeah. I mean, she was so excited. She watched TikTok for. <sighs> Packing's my favorite. Love you. Love you. Here comes Laura. This is the family truckster wagon mobile. <laughs> what do you got there? It's my favorite. A little double shot of espresso and cream from Starbucks. Laura is going to drive tonight. Um, I played through. Um, I spent all night packing. And yeah, it's, it's way past my bedtime. So we'll check back in with y'all in a few, well, I don't know, a few hours, I guess. Okay. That's so weird. Lauren, I don't know how to open the doors anymore. Try it again. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Let me see the remote. The remote, oh yeah. Uh... Negative Ghost say, Rider. Let's step on out. All right. Laura and I are kind of new to the world of minivans. <laughs> and I think a backpack has fallen up against the door. And yeah, it's triggering a sensor. We don't know, we're gonna figure it out. Try it now. Okay. Nope, still doing it. No, no, I figured it out. I figured yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look how smart yeah! that was. <laughs> that was a real win. <laughs> that was a was big a win. For a second, I was like, oh, the car broke and we haven't even gotten on the road yet. <laughs> <laughs> Start those four cylinders of Japanese fury up. Let's hear that puppy roar. Yeah. <laughs> Telling you. That thing is purring and growling. It is hungry for adventure. I'm Are like you hungry for adventure? Starving for adventure. I'm just plain starving. Okay, get something to eat. We stopped for some healthy, nutritious Burger King. I got chicken fingers. I opted for the Whopper combo meal with strawberry milkshake. We are, I don't know, about four and a half hours from home and we are just north of Daytona Beach. We stopped at a rest area. 
We are back in the family truckster. Laura's gonna pilot this ride into Daytona. I think we're gonna make it to Daytona tonight. We are stopped in Daytona for the night, and then tomorrow we pick up Mike at the airport in Miami. Home sweet home for tonight. For tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't think the Wally cam's gonna work, Laura. <laughs> I don't think the Wally cam's gonna work. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a fail. <laughs> Laura wants to go on a sketchy little field trip. <laughs> sketchy. Laura, how did the family truckster perform for you? I am so impressed with that vehicle. It was a really comfortable ride. It is comfortable. Yep. It's got those captain seats that are leather and heated. I didn't use the heating element, so I can't speak to that, but <laughs> just the fact that it's there, you know? Yeah. And uh, it was just a smooth ride, you know? It is. I'm pretty impressed with it. Me too. I scored an apple in the lobby. You know what they say about an apple a day, right, baby? Uh, what's that? Um, an apple a day keeps the oh, it keeps the iguanas at play. I guess I don't know. Rise and shine. Time to head to Miami. Laura, yeah. did you forget your toothbrush? I did forget my toothbrush. Lame. Apparently, I forgot yours too. Yep. That is Daytona International Speedway. <laughs> Laura and I were just talking about how stoked we are. This is the first trip we've taken in a while where we don't have a whole bunch of fishing rods jostling around and clanking and making a bunch of noise. Poking us in the face. And Poking us in the face. <laughs> and snapping little rod tips. And This one, we've actually integrated the sun visors into fishing rod tip protection and human eyeball protection. <laughs> Pretty soon, it's my turn to play music. Aww. Goodbye, Jared Knees. I'm scrolling through my phone, and I'm trying to find something that Laura's gonna dig. Oh, wait, I've got it. Australian hip hop about hog hunting. Laura's going to love this. Check this out. 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 Check A lot of people aren't aware of this, so I figured I'd point it out to everyone. Florida is actually one of the top beef producing states. And I don't have an exact figure on how many cattle they're running in the state, but Florida is running a lot of cattle. And it along with Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, uh, Montana, it, it's one of the last cowboy states. It really is. Okay, y'all. Pablo is out of filled scuba tanks. But Laura and I are going to stop by and pick up a yoke anyways. And we're going to take y'all with us. I'm sure if y'all are into air guns or air gun hunting and you watch YouTube already, y'all have already seen Pablo's shop. Laura to the rescue. Attacking the problem. What was it? We just had part of the fender come loose and start dragging, but we're here at Pablo's. There we go. I 
thought I had them all. Laura's got leaves in her hair. Let me see the front. Oh, there's another leaf. We've got them all picked out of your ferret fossa hair, or faucet. <laughs> Tell everyone on YouTube how excited you are to be going to Pablo's shop again. So excited. This is Pablo and hey with Airgun One Incorporated. This is the most impressive airgun shop I've ever walked into. Laura loves it when we come here because I spend too much time in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got a solid metal yoke and we got a gauge, it has a plastic cap on it. It's kind of hard to get. Let me try to pull my mouth. Here is the AEA Varmint 25. Pretty much the same gun I left at home. Mine's got the 500cc steel bottle though. You sure there's nothing else you want to pick up? <laughs> I am looking at that AEA. <laughs> that is now everyone's calling it the whistler, but yeah, they whistle so hard that is kind of impressive. That is a 72 caliber pellet, not a slug, but a pellet. You can yeah. see. We uh, we came up with different models, and then we test different shapes and models and weights. And amazingly, I had no um, no faith on this one, right? And it. it being actually the best one out of all of them. Yeah. After we tested them. Yeah, it's unbelievable. They, again, a 70, 75 yards, you can put five on the same hole. <laughs> and they fly in a 900 feet per second. For a so, wad so, cutter, too. Yes, it's unbelievable. They, they're super accurate. So, you know. What is, how many grains is that? 640, 639, I think. They are. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Yeah. What's, uh, it's 649 out of the Zeus. What's a ballpark as far as the foot pounds of energy it's putting out? I don't know. I mean, we never did the math, but I can do it really quick. Yeah, it's it's got to be up the, there, up there. Out of, out of the short, the short suits, not the big one, the short one. The, the 24 two, inch? The 24 inches, they're flying at 900 feet per second. Whoa! So, uh, the numbers are simple. We got uh, 649 grains, uh, 649, uh, 900. That's gonna give us 1,200 foot pounds. 1,200? 649 grains. That is 600 or 1,200? Uh, yes, uh, it's actually 1,169. 1,169 foot pounds of energy coming out of the 24 inch barrel Zeus. Mm -hmm. That is impressive to say the least. Yep, they are. They are the hollow base, so they engage the rifling and you know the uh, on the gun pretty well. That's why I believe that's why they're so accurate. We tested many different shapes. Just honestly, because of the bite that skirt grabs know, on the rifle. Again, we have no faith on these ones. Yeah. So we made like 50 of them just for testing purposes, and honestly, this this one they got the number one in accuracy. That's so amazing. we again we shot them only at 75 yards, but uh, with all the other shapes like this type of shape right yep uh they were okay they were grouping in 40 inches or 75 yards but this one they call a hole 75 yards so yep accuracy out of the suits for some reason accuracy wise is number one that's amazing yeah they way more accurate than traditional shape uh slugs that's a really nice pickup i like it yeah very nice if y'all are in west palm and need anything air gun related come to air gun one incorporated and it's pablo's shop and he can help you with anything and if you want any free swamp fox adventure stickers i just dropped off a bunch we got a whole bunch of them there's the air gun one logo yes sir very nice stickers i really like them i like the small ones though yeah 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 I always keep a bunch of those in my pocket. They're really cool. I decided on my way out that you couldn't possibly have enough pellets. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm going to be shooting that much, but <laughs> <laughs> figured I'd stock up just to be sure. Why not? And Pablo has got you covered on just about everything. 
He's even got the Nielsen slugs. Mm -hmm. If any of y'all are really into shooting slugs, mm -hmm. he's got one heck of a selection here. I'm back at Pablo's. Harold uh, replied to a group message. So I'm picking him up an AEA 25 cal magazine for his Challenger. Challenger 25 cows. Yep. How many we need? One. You make sure. Let Challenger me double check, he said one. Yeah, 25 caliber, yes sir. Cool. That's the one. Caught me right as I was at the car. Oh yeah, yeah, I was videoing the outro with Pablo. Yeah, so. Yeah, no, I got the, uh, whatchamacallit, I got the uh, magazine for you. We've got the magazine in hand. And once again, Pablo saved the day. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I'll see you on the way back. See you, guys. Thank you, man. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm going to wrap this video up real quick. Um, it was the first day of our adventure. Laura and I are now checked into the room. I'm going to go scout some good iguana spots. Um, and just for spotlighting, I'm going to go do some shining tonight and try to hook some out of the tree. Laura's gonna sit, she's got her headphones on, she can't hear me. She's gonna stay here and chill out in the hot tub. You sure you don't wanna go iguana hunting with me? I'm sure. We might find a night anole or a chameleon. Oh my gosh, totally do it. Laura's gonna be lame. I'll see y'all soon, love ya, and we're just gonna keep posting a video a day. Hope y'all enjoyed Pablo's shop, that place is awesome. <laughs>